It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, okay? So I just cut the deck to the Nine of Wands, and then we have the Knight of Wands reversed on the bottom. So the Knight of Wands reversed is reckless behavior or somebody doing something extremely fast. Nine of Wands is challenging energy. We have somebody here that's hurting. They're experiencing some life challenges. They're growing weary. They're not sure what their next step is. Should I, should I, should I do something or not? This is somebody that is, I feel like we have fear. Absolutely. With the Knight of Wands reversed as well. There's some sort of fear here. Fear of something not working out. We may also have somebody here that's very cocky, okay? We could have somebody here that is very cocky, you know? This is somebody that has a chip on their shoulder that is highly, highly competitive, that is unwilling to give up, you know, they're unwilling to give in on a situation. This is like refusing. So we may have somebody here that is refusing. Mm. Struggling with fear by the looks of things. Guarded, extremely guarded. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, we had one fall out. World reversed. World reversed. So the world reversed is lack of closure, um, stuck in the present, refusing to explore new avenues. Somebody is stuck in the present, okay? They're not, uh, they're unwilling to change. They're not evolving. Let's get another card. It's a lack of success because this person is unwilling to change. So there's a lack of success here. Too much resistance. And that, you see that with the Nine of Wands as well. Too much resistance. Oh, nine of swords. So this is uh, stressed out, extremely stressed out, worried. Oh my God, what am I going to do? How do I handle this? The, the world card reverse is a lack of success, right? It is. This is stagnation. And I feel like we have somebody here that is, is they're living, it's almost like they're living an entitled life with the nine of wands. You know, they're entitled. They've been hurt and maybe they're using that. They're using their previous pain as a crutch. Nine of swords. This is like, oh my God. No, this is, this is, it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So this is, this, this is definitely giving deep thought to a situation, worried, worried about something. And strength reverse. We could be dealing with a Leo. Um, let's get some more cards. Seven of pentacles. Justice reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. There's forceful energy here. Maybe we have same with the Knight of Pentacles. We got somebody here who has a chip on their shoulder. I feel like it's fire energy, and no offense to you guys, it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It's somebody that has strong fire in their chart. Could be Libra energy, Libra. Um, but there's some sort of lack of accountability, not wanting to be held accountable for actions. So I feel like we have somebody here, or there's been some sort of injustice. Somebody may have been, maybe they were treated unfairly. I mean, something is not going, going in their favor. Um, justice reversed. There's, a, there's some sort of injustice here or legal issues that are not going in somebody's favor could be um, a legal loss or something or a loss of a contract and we've been talking about contracts and there's control with strength card reverse that's control wanting to be in control not wanting to lose control trying to force something somebody's trying to force something and it's because there's there's they're not seeing any success the first card out is 
is this is the world card reversed? There's no success. There's some poor health here. There is poor health uh, with the Nine of Swords, the Strength card reversed, and the Ten of Swords reversed. We have chronic health problems, and they could be even mental health problems with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords reversed. You may have somebody here that has some mental health problems. They may also have problems, um, body image problems, you know, problems with their image, their self-image. There's a lot of anxiety here. There's depression as well. Um, not getting what they want. Unwilling to give up. Highly competitive with that Knight of Wands. Highly high. We definitely have high competition here. We have somebody here that is, is really struggling with um, accepting that something is over or that there's no success here. There's a lack of acceptance with the world card reversed. Um, something could be, somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye as well. You know, there could be a sudden departure with the Knight of Wands and then we have the world reversed and the Ten of Swords reversed. This could definitely be a sudden departure where there's a lack of closure, you know, um, lies. There's been lies with the Justice reversed. Uh, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about investment. Is it worth it? Is it worth investing in this? It feels like the season is over. The time is up. Somebody's giving deep thought to what they have invested in. There's no success. There's a lack of equality. There's a lack of truth. Something isn't, it's not aligned, okay? It's not aligned as it should be. Um, Ten of Swords reverse is freedom. It's liberation from a painful suffering situation. Um, but there's some sort of, well, strength card reversed is fear as well. Ego, pride. We got somebody here that is struggling with containing themselves. This is, could be out of control energy. We may have somebody here that's really angry. I notice a fist in this Ten of Swords. We may have somebody that's been hurt really, 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 really badly and they're angry. They're angry, and, I, and the, the strength card reverse is anger as well. It's like not, it's like unable to control emotions. So I feel like we do have somebody here that is struggling with control issues. I also feel like we have somebody here that is very depressed. Um, they don't believe in themselves, uh, and maybe they've been in some sort of karmic contract, and it's not, and it's not ending the way that they were. You know, they invested in it for quite some time and it's not ending the way that they thought it was going to end and, you know, letting it go. Because the strength card upright is about finding the strength to accept and allow and let go. If this is reversed. We have somebody here that is having a hard time letting go of an outcome, you know, of, of the truth. It's like they don't want to accept the truth. They're trying to... So I think that we have a real struggle here. Anyhow, Ten of Swords reversed. I feel like uh, there's a lack of closure. We got the world card reversed and the ten of swords reversed. It's like something is ending and it's not the justice is reversed. It's unfair. Okay. Somebody it's like this isn't fair. It's not fair. This isn't fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. There's some sort of lack of fairness here. There's indecision as well with the Seven of Pentacles and the, and the Justice card reversed. It's like thinking about leaving. I do feel like we th have somebody here that has been thinking about going someplace. They've been thinking about uh, moving on, stepping into a new life. Maybe they've been, they've had low confidence or self-doubt or lack of courage you know, but they're suffering. They're really, really suffering. So I think we have somebody here that is really thinking about it at night mostly. You know, they're thinking about it a lot. Maybe even during the day as well because we have day and night. So probably day and night. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is really struggling with stepping into their new life. There's fear. There's pride. There's ego. There's uh, low self-confidence. There's feeling vulnerable. There's... Uh, indecisiveness, uh, 
What if it doesn't turn out? What if it doesn't turn out? What if, what if I make a mistake? So I do feel like we have somebody here that is really, 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 really struggling with their thoughts. They're struggling with, with relocating or investing in something new. Um, there is a realignment going on, but uh, resist what you resist persists. So because somebody is resisting it so much, and I say that because the world card is reversed, because it's be being resisted so much, it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. That's the Ten of Swords reverse. It's like it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse because when you resist the new life, when you resist evolution, when you resist change, Things just get worse. There's going to be more bad karma. There's going to be more bad luck. Justice reverse is bad luck. It's bad karma. It is. It is. It's more setbacks. You know, it's more things not going in your favor if you're resisting evolution, right? If you haven't learned your lesson, I mean, the world card reverse is repeating negative patterns, not learning your lesson. You know, you have to be honest with yourself. If you, if you, if you want a new life, if you want a better life, if you want growth in your life, you know, and you don't want to have stress and you don't want to be worried, you have to be willing to do things that, you know, you haven't done before. You have to be willing to evolve. You have to be willing to accept change. You have to be willing to step into unknown territory and leave the past behind. But the world card is reversed and that's not leaving the past behind. That's staying stuck. If you're going to continue to stay stuck, you're not going to get what you deserve. Okay? The universe, which is the world card, is trying to give you what you deserve. But if you do aren't ready for what you deserve, you can continue to stay stuck where you're at and be held accountable and suffer the consequences and things are only going to get worse until you find your courage and your strength and your confidence to let go of your fear, let go of your pride, let go of your ego and step into new territory. Good luck.